Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about introduction to Simscape modeling. In this section, how to build the trend system using the physical uh, modeling blocks. Here, uh, these blocks in the Simscape library represent actual uh, physical components so that and the complex multi-domain models can be built without the need to build uh, mathematical equations from the physical principle as well uh, as was done by applying new, uh, Newton's laws. So the, uh, this part has uh, the first we start with the physical setup, the mass of the engine and uh, a car are represented by this M1 and M2, this M1 and M2 block, this one. Then uh, the engine and the car are connected by uh, a coupling of uh, stiffness. Uh, stiffness k value this stiffness k value is uh, stiffness uh, k value is as 1 uh, newton per meter then then the force the force f represent uh, the force generated between the engine wheel and the track this engine wheel and the track then this mu mu represent uh, the coefficient of uh, rolling resistance the coefficient of rolling resistance so that uh, these are the system parameters are there in this uh, in the simscape modeling this is a physical setup this is your uh, train system the equivalent uh, physical setup is shown here here m1 is nothing but the mass of the engine and m2 is nothing but uh, mass of the car it is set by uh, one kilo one kilogram and car mass is 0.5 kilogram and this is a fin spring constant so you set that as one nanometer it, the next one m is the friction coefficient friction coefficient you set as 0 0.02 and force applied is one uh, uh, one newton then next one the, the acceleration acceleration uh, due to gravity you know very well 9.8 meter per meter square so the now how we can uh, build this model to create the model uh, you need uh, these blocks and these elements what are the blocks this uh, two mass blocks this is uh, a engine block model and this uh, you re rename it as m1 the engine mass we set as one kilogram then you select another uh, one mass block and rename it as um, m2 and car mass we set as 0.5 kilogram how you can set the model how you can get this uh, mass block model just we enter in simscape uh, ssc new yes simscape new here these are all the library uh, will come this one uh, the solver configuration simulink ps converter and ps2 simulink converter uh, the scopes this find the components in simscape library means you just click here in this simscape uh, if you click that you can get the uh, simulink library browser this is your simscape toolbox these are the foundation libraries in this if you click on simscape you are getting this drive line uh, uh, subsystem blocks and electrical and fluids and foundation libraries and multi bodies and utilities okay now uh, we, we we need some uh, fluid based model means here just uh, you can see it uh, uh, fluid network interfaces gas hydraulics and actuators and moisture thermal liquid two phase fluids in this manner you can far you depend upon your um, requirement and modeling you can uh, choose uh, this simscape library in this in this one uh, where, where from you can get this to develop this model here uh, two mass blocks are renamed as this one now how you can get this plum uh, mass block i have taken from this library link okay it is available in uh, this uh, fl library this is a fluid library in mechanical translation elements here itself i can choose this mass block here uh, how we can uh, get this one from our model just you uh, click click here in similar sim library browser just you can type mass In this mass block uh, uh, re represent uh, with this uh, <laughs> stone one more thing uh, go to library block here uh, in this fluid library fl library fluid library i 
in this player library uh, just you type fl uh, underscore library in command prompt what will happen check fl player library is a shortcut to uh, get this one okay uh, here in this you choose mechanical model double click on this mechanical model in this mechanical there are mechanical sensors mechanical sources mechanisms and multi body interfaces and rotational elements are there in translational elements you, uh, this mass block is available okay just uh, click on that add to subsystem uh, you can get simscape web source code also available here in this uh, you can also add this one or copy or uh, drag and drop into the workspace in this manner uh, we created this one uh, then the same 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 thing the four source block mass uh, here in this manner you can choose uh, this foundation library uh, blocks here in fluids uh, uh, this four source can apply you, you can get it from fluid library in mechanical mechanical sources here this is our ideal four source based on that you can uh, apply also uh, you can uh, drag uh, drag and wrap into workspace if uh, if you click uh, uh, rotate r means it will rotate for example i copy this file so ideal for source i copy the file and and paste it uh, in this workspace here control r you just choose control r like this you can uh, uh, rotate the particular block this is a four source blocks okay uh, in this manner the, uh, you can also uh, select the uh, translational motion sensor it is available in <laughs> A translation motion sensor. These are uh, motion sensor block. You can see so in this sensors, motional segments, mechanical sensor. Here, ideal uh, translation motion sensor is available here. Okay, just to copy and paste it, and you know very well about the scope block and uh, this spring block also available in this uh, uh, available here. In this translation spring, here you type translation spring in. Uh, uh, search box you can get it the same thing uh, you know uh, engine mass and engine car and what is a uh, uh, friction friction model in this friction model it is available in transnational uh, damper is called as fr frictional uh, friction this uh, it is available in fluid library in mechanical block in translation elements it is available the same thing for uh, an another one uh, it's, a, it's also transnational damper now what is this solver configuration uh, this solver configuration it is used to uh, uh, solve the uh, settings for this uh, uh, user simulation here uh, you can see this linear algebra model is you take it as auto mode and equation formulation is time and delay memory budget is 1 mb almost equal to 1024 kilobytes here the solver configuration block uh, defines the solver setting to use for uh, simulation okay for particular application you can choose also the local solver for example uh, use the local solver you can choose a uh, solver type as backward euler or trapezoidal rule or partitioning method in this method we are not uh, requiring this uh, local solver solver method you can choose this as per uh, linear algebra algebra model okay so uh, connect to the newton's law we can check this model First, you add the following blocks to um, mass elements. First one element and another element and one uh, transnational uh, spring block. You name it, rename it as a spring. And the next one is a me uh, one mechanical translation reference block. Mechanical uh, translation reference block, this one. 
in the next one add the following elements to the model an ideal source uh, block so is a force free source it is a ideal you type uh, in a library browser as ideal for source block you can get it and next one is a signal generator block in the uh, signal generator block it is available in this available in uh, uh, generator uh, sinks uh, uh, sinks blocks sing uh, but is a signal generator just you type the signal generator in library browser Here you can get the next one your translation uh, translational motion sensor this translational motion sensor it is applied uh, you can uh, get it from uh, simscape fluid uh, library and sensor part you can see so uh, after um, getting these components you can assign the values are m1 value as one kilogram double click on that you can see the mass value is one kilogram you can set and the similarly for m2 this for m2 car mass this is a engine mass ma engine uh, design and this one yeah this is for assume this is for m1 and this is for m2 in between uh, the uh, spring constant as uh, developed as k and then what is where mu this is a friction coefficient and force value is e1 and uh, acceleration due to the gravity 9.8 uh, meters per square similarly m1 friction is ma uh, uh, set here for damp with the damping coefficient this is a translational damper a uh, damper block so in this uh, signal generator block uh, choose the waveform to square choose the waveform to square with an amplitude of minus 1 and frequency of 0 0.001 hertz we said this value uh, to open the configuration parameter uh, you control e also you can choose here uh, you uh, you, uh, you set the uh, variable step value uh, and also solver solver is set to be auto auto mode now we set the simulation time is uh, uh, 1000 here this simulation stop time is 1000 now what will happen uh, to run this model now uh, this is where, uh, if you click on the sh uh, scope you are getting this uh, output this scope shows the engine uh, first went forward the engine first went to forward uh, when the positive force force was applied then the opposite direction uh, sometimes after negative force was applied so that this uh, this shows the velocity output identically matches the result of the simlink model now in this way uh, you can construct uh, once uh, 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 build the train system using the physical modeling blocks like uh, uh, this blocks two mass blocks and translational spring block and mechanical translation reference block and uh, translation damper blocks in this may in this way in this way the simulink is so useful for to designing um, any type any type of uh, complex multi-domain models can be built uh, without the need of uh, to build a mathematical equation uh, from the um, uh, pr physical principle as was done by applying uh, the newton's law so that i hope you enjoy this video uh, to introduction to simscape modeling uh, uh, we hope we we accept we expect some more interesting video to my channel if you are new to my channel means please uh, like my channel subscribe my channel if you uh, like uh, like this video you uh, you share your share this video to your friends and students thanks for watching thank you